What is going on y'all? Welcome to the Thai Life. My name is Min and today I want to talk to y'all about shaping. Shaping of the nails is the most important process in a set of nails when you are doing it. I know some beginners nail tech probably tell me, no, it's the application. That's the hardest. No, 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 no. Once you pass the application part, trust me. The shaping is your bread and butter and it's going to be the hardest. Why? It's because you are going to shape differently in different type of client's nails. You got millions of different kind of hands that you're going to deal with throughout your career and you cannot do the same shape on that next 10,000 clients. You just can't do that. You got short finger, long finger, big finger, small finger, wide finger. I mean, there's so many different kind of fingers and you got to shape based on those fingers. And today, I wanna talk to y'all about taper square. And y'all probably, some of y'all probably wondering like, what is he talking about? What the hell is taper square? Let me tell y'all what taper square is. Imagine a square shaped nail and it's shifting a little bit. Why do we need to shift it in so it doesn't look wide? It doesn't look like duck feet? But taper square are usually done for nails that are medium sized length. I know a lot of y'all women out there as client, y'all be going in with some short nails and y'all be like, I want a coffin shape. But I know what y'all meant. What y'all really meant is that y'all just want your nail to not be wide. So y'all call it coffin. And next thing you know, the nail tech thinking that's what you really want. And they gonna give you a coffin shape on a short nail. Now you look like you got stubby little fingers. I'm gonna teach y'all how to do a beautiful taper square. This kind of mine right here, y'all. The process is easy. And I'm gonna show you every step of the way how I did it with this client. All about taper square shaping. So the first thing I did for this client was I applied the square tips on for her. This client, she came in, she just tell me she wants her nail not to look wide and she doesn't know what shape she wanted. So I look at her nail, I look at the length and I say, look, your nail is gonna be between a taper square to a coffin. So as I apply the tips on for her, y'all, I use the scissor, I cut the edges of the nails. By me cutting the edges of the nail, it's gonna give me a little scope of what kind of shape I am forming. Once I am satisfied with the cutting of the edge, I am gonna go in with the file. This is the most important part right here, y'all. Let me tell y'all why. This part right here, you have to be fully successful, meaning the shape has to be on point with the tip so that once you apply the acrylic on, it is perfectly there. You don't have to work too hard after the application. But while you are filing her nails, is also important how you hold her nails. The way I'm holding her nail, as you can see, my thumb is placing right on top of her finger cuticles. Why is it on top of cuticle? So that I can maneuver her hand, her finger up and down however I want it without me moving my body, okay? Also, as I am holding her finger, it is also important that y'all realize that where the cuticle on the side is at, y'all have to use your finger to kind of hold it down. By holding it down and you file the edges of the nail, you won't cut them. Very important, y'all. So important at that part because I know a lot of people get thin, their files cut because of that. Okay, after you are satisfied with the shape, you go on to the next hand. Same thing, how I am holding her finger. And the way I'm holding her finger also is that I'm placing the file on top of my hand, my finger, so that when I'm filing her finger, I'm not cutting her skin, but anything, I'm cutting my own skin. So it's like you kind of have to sacrifice doing the filing part, y'all. And that's how you don't cut the fingernails on the side. It's very painful. So as you guys can see, the shape is kind of forming, kind of shifting in. And remember, the widest part of the fingernail is the tip of your cuticle, side cuticle. The nail cannot be any wider than that, okay? Something's wrong if you are making it wider than that. So as you can see, look how beautiful that taper square is forming. The shape is there. After that, I will just go ahead and put the prime on and apply the acrylic on. Once the acrylic is on, all you have to do is you just get the file and you kind of make the shape nice and straight again. That's pretty much it, y'all. You're not changing the shape because you already did the shaping prior to the application. So just use the file to kind of edge around the side of the nails. 
by doing this part is very important because now when you go in with the e-file you're not cutting their their skin off you're actually able to shave the fingernail into the shape that you want look at that see as i'm doing very gently i'm not working too hard at this moment because like i said the shape was already there that's why it's so important that you shape before you do the application as you can see how I'm using my hand up and down. So as I'm shaping the side, I focus a lot on the side, y'all. When it comes to the shape, it's all about the side and the front, okay? The back, the e-file is gonna do all of that for you, okay? But it is so important. You can tell I'm spending a lot of time to form in the shape because once you apply the acrylic on, the nail expands. When you apply the acrylic on, expand, especially in this set right here that you guys are watching, I did an encapsulation with the glitter on her nail. So, there's gonna be some thickness of the acrylic which kind of deforms the shape a little bit. But you just take your time and you shape it. This is probably the longest process when it comes to doing nail is shaping the nails. And sometimes it's important that you shape up and down just to get that nice crystal and look at that. And finally y'all, you got to go in with the e-file. There's a lot of nail tech out there be telling me like, oh, I can do, I can clean the cuticle without the e-file. No, 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 y'all. That's just BS talking, okay? There's no way you can get the acrylic down to the, the nail just with the, the regular file. I mean, you could, but it's going to take you some long, long time. This e-file, as you guys can tell, because my application was smooth already, I just have to use the e-file to go around the cuticle. But here's the main thing about the e-file, y'all. The e-file is going to give you that nice crisp look on the side. Like, look, look how I'm doing the cuticle. But after I do the cuticle, I focus on the side to bring the side straight. A lot of y'all have problems shaping because y'all always wonder like, how come I cannot make my side nice and straight? And I see other tech do it. That's because they use the e-file. That e-file is gonna be your friend, y'all. It's gonna make that shape on point, okay? On point. But definitely, how you holding the client's hand is very important too because as I'm holding the client's hand with the e-file, I am moving her finger up and down. I'm turning it side to side. I don't have to move my whole body again. And also clean the bottom. After you use the e-file, you notice how crisp the shape is coming down. And that, my friend, is a taper square. Once you are done with the e-file, last but not least, buff the nails really well. Because after you file, you use the e-file, there's going to be some acrylic lingering around the nails. Get the buffer, buff it on top, buff it on the side, buff it on the bottom, and buff it on the top. Okay, but don't buff it too hard. Buff it gently to get that smooth surface. If you buff it too hard, you're gonna shift the shape. And the goal is not to shift the shape, y'all. Look how I'm buffing. Very up and down, side to side, a little bit on the bottom, and on that. I see so many nail tech posts on Instagram, and next thing you know, I look on the side of the nail, it's all like dingling, it's all, it's not good. So take the time to shaping, Take the time on the buffing and work that e-file really well. And I guarantee you, you guys gonna have an awesome looking shape. And when that shape is nice and clean, y'all, I don't care what color you put on, look how beautiful that is. Look at that shape, look at her cuticle, look at the side of her cuticle. And my friend, that is how you do a beautiful taper square. And I tell you what, I believe that all of y'all can do the same what I just did. It's not that hard. It does take time. Just take your time to do it. But at the end of the day, your client is going to appreciate you because you take your time and your client is going to appreciate the work that you put into their nails. And next thing you know, they're going to keep referring you to another client, to another client. And next thing you know, you are fully booked. And that, my friend, is how you do a taper square shaping. Get the shaping right and everything will be all right. If you want more, y'all, if you like this tutorial, subscribe to my channel, like, and please share it to your friends, and let them know that this is free education. I'm out.